Now I'm going to show you how to get to Google News Timeline up at the top in the URL. If you type in newstimeline.googlelabs.com, I usually put a link right to this. I'm going to have my students use it. This will be the timeline that will come up. Every day it's different, so yours might be a little bit different than what mine looks like right now. And up at the top, you can search something you're looking for. So if you're looking for Obama, it's going to have a lot with him. I always tend to get rid of Wikipedia searches or events. If you want to show certain dates, maybe a month. Or if you know something happened within a certain date range. Let's just pick January. 2009. You can see that some of them are from CNN, Toronto Star, USA Today, ABC Online, Bloomberg. So they pick the articles from newspapers around the world. Press go. I think it's already there. And then if there are specific ones that you want, you can click on it. It'll bring you right to that article. This is in Bloomberg. And if you want to go back, you can see some more. So depending upon the age of your students, um, you can use this in a multitude of ways. I know that we used it when there was a lot of tsunamis going on and we wanted to see what all the countries were saying about it. So it was a good tool in that way. You can also go for news quotes or if you're just looking for videos, sports, so it really depends. You can alter it in the way that you wish. And that is a very quick Google News timeline.